In this playlist and these following series of videos, I'll be going through activities that are incremental and progressive in loading your patellar tendon. That's this ligament below the kneecap here. It's often known as jumper's knee and, become, and can become irritated. And so the way I'm going to go about it is I'm going to start with lower load activities and then progress them to higher load. So we'll, we're going to start with just what, what is called isometric activities, which is when the muscles are not actually moving, and then we'll progress to concentric and eccentric positions in open and closed chain, and I'll, and I'll explain those as we go through them. And then lastly, we'll get to more dynamic activities like jumping and landing. One key thing to know is your, your patellar tendon's reaction to the activity. If you ever have any sharp pains, I want you to stop. If you ever have pain that lasts for longer than two days, whether it's mild or anything else, don't increase your level. Anything below or around a three or below is acceptable and if it doesn't last for longer than a day. So if you're able to complete that, that step and that level at a three or lower pain and the pain or three level, lower pain level and it only lasts for a day or less, then move on to the next one. And lastly, don't do these things on back-to-back -back days. Give yourself a day in between. Give your body and a tendon time to recover and restore itself because in the end strength is not truly built when we're actually doing the movement it's built when those tissues have to reorganize after activity